But yeah, that is what I will be playing today. I will be playing some Outriders. I'm playing the demo for it. It seemed interesting. Initially, I, I thought it was... Um, I thought it was... A... Uh, what's it called? Games of service games, like Destiny or... Uh, or one of those, but for some reason, I, I was just looking this up, and it doesn't say it's got that big multiplayer thing. I don't know. I might be wrong. It might be a games as service kind of thing. I'll look at it again just to be sure, but... Is it? Yeah, Outriders is not. And will only receive expansions or DLC if there is demand. Oh, okay, interesting. It seems like to be... It seems like it's just a, a single-player looter shooter type deal, which is interesting because we... Nowadays, I, I, I was gonna say that everyone's just jumping on that bandwagon of it being a looter shooter and it being a games of service. But I'm kind of happy it's not. So I honestly, when I first saw the trailer, I was like, oh, not another one of these. But I, it's kind of a breath of fresh air seeing that it's not. <laughs> so uh, we will see. It's a, it's up to three people in a team. And we'll see what it turns out to be and how lootery, how shootery it is. But without further ado, let's jump in. Let me stop here my, my, my very nice tunes and jump into Outriders. I have not been able to set up any of the, oh, oh, you guys can't see that. Here, let me, uh, let's see if I can, I can make it pop up for you guys. It just crashed. Exception access violation. Okay. Uh, send and restart. There's an, another instance of the game running. Uh Oh, okay. <laughs> let me try to figure this out. Back to camera mode. Hello. Uh, okay. Game closed. Alright. Let's try it after gain. Guess I'll, I'll put on, I'll put on some cheerier music. Let's see. What's a, what's a cheery tune? You know. I've been wanting to make my, my stream playlist. For a long time, but I never do. I for some reason I end up never doing it. Oh. So now we're going with a completely different thing while we're waiting here. <laughs> we were doing Mass Effect, kind of keeping in the tone. Eh. Let's just go with something cheery. Happy Saturday, everyone. Too bad this game crashed, and now it's saying it's still running, but the game is not running. Okay. And this is what happens when you have to when you have a game like this where you're playing it and it's not even out yet. You're just kind of winging it, trying to do a demo, and the demo has story in the beginning. Uh, so then you run into problems like this. Even having to restart Steam. All right, let's see. Starting it up. This song is a jam, though. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Hey, there we go. People can fly. What did they make? Okay, I'm not gonna touch it because it, it already tried crashing on me once. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it. <laughs> Using easy anti cheat. I think uh, Epic owns that now. Easy. They made it incompatible with like a bunch of platforms or something. Just spitballing, let's go. Are you gonna crash?
Okay. Did not crash. By continuing to the game, you agree on our terms of service and confirm that you have read. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Signing must. Okay. Here we go. Today, we shall see victory! A great new altar fights at our side! This sounds generic. The anomaly should have killed us. But instead, it left us something more. Altered and Outrider. What does that mean? Only we can lead them to a future. It looks like it's trying to be really edgy. <laughs> like a debut trailer. This might be the debut trailer. I don't remember it. Whatever we were before, we're something new now. We were given a second life. We can't waste it. My biggest problem is that a lot of these games look really generic. I want to lower the volume, but I'm afraid it might break the game. <laughs> Okay, will you let me do things? Alright, I can lower the volume. I hope. I hope the game doesn't break. Okay. Uh, options. Yes. This is actually what I want. Actually, a little bit louder and hopefully I can actually restore it to what it was here. Because I usually have these things. Alright. Just gonna make sure everything here, cause I, I didn't quite okay. Enable crossplay, blah blah blah, papa, screen toggle, blah blah blah. Oh I don't know if my computer is gonna run this. We shall see. Uh <laughs> they just applied it all to ultra. Are we the guy or the girl? Let's be the girl. Okay, let's see how customizable. I'm not gonna go crazy on this. Because I feel like I feel like all of them have have kind of like a, a crooked, like the face doesn't fit quite well, at least not in the position that we're being allowed to see them. Okay. Um, I'm guessing we... Oh, interesting. Sometimes it's fun to just do a randomize. This actually makes me think of... <laughs> this, is, this is an interesting hairstyle. I've seen a lot of people with it. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna do 12 clicks, because 12 is the thing in this channel. And we'll just stick with it. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. Uh, and... That's fine, honestly. A hair. I'll just... What hair are we on? Okay. If nothing is cool, I'll just keep... Can I it with this first complaint you have to use the arrows to turn but you have to use the mouse to click i gotta go like this oh, it's because also i have things in front of me but i don't like doing that i wish you could just do ad but i mean it's, that's really small nitpick it doesn't really matter what does this look like oh it's a bunny bun <laughs> this is the aloy hairstyle for some reason, I really like the side style like that, and I'll just leave it like that. Boom, create. Courtney? Shufin? Athena? Fen? Well, whatever. Oh, I should have done my classic... My classic name. Also, how are you doing, Matthew? A message from Outriders team. Before you land on Enoch, here are the key things to be aware of. This demo encompasses the opening, opening chapter of the game in full. That's cool. Any progress you make will be carried over. Yes, that's a great thing. I love when demos do that. There are many side quests and areas to explore. That's awesome that this... Okay. Uh, you'll be... Okay, this still seems very loud. I'm going to lower it for you guys. But uh, 
end up messing. Tell me if it is, if it was too loud. For me, it's it might still be too loud. Uh, there are many side quests. Drop in, drop out. Co-op can become available once you have selected your class. Finally, a guiding philosophy to the end. You have to think aggressive. Kill to heal. Ooh, survival demands aggression. Okay. So we're going to go into options again because the audio is still crazy. So I'm going to bop it to five. Maybe I should actually bop it to seven. Push it to six. Make sure. Yeah, that seems a little bit more acceptable. Oh, I look pretty cool. Hey, Erica, welcome. Play with friends. I have seven friends online. Uh oh, maybe people don't want to be seen. Uh, Select your story points, start new game. News, okay, we don't really. But yeah, let's play with Fen. This is a new game. This is called Outriders, uh, and it's a looter shooter, but not um, not a games as service, so not a Destiny. It's more like uh, Borderlands. It's a looter shooter that you can play up with three people through the campaign. This is my character. I made her. I just kind of pressed random 12 times. Uh, and... So it has a story, it has a stuff, and apparently this demo gives you the first full chapter of the game. With side quests and everything. So, could be great, could be... My biggest complaint right now is that it looks generic. But, we'll see. We'll see. Let's start this game. But let's get into it. Let's get... Uh, Let's hop into it. Let's jump into it. Earth was dead. We had destroyed it. Two colony ships were built to carry us across this mass effect. Only one ship made it. We're all that's left. After an 83 year journey, we orbit our new home. No, oh, BB. The planet, Enoch. Humanity's last damn chance. Also, this game feels really edgy. <laughs> so far, even in the trailer, they're all like cool and like, yeah. <laughs> I love that edge. Oh, also, I'm trying to run the game on Ultra, because that's the settings they gave me. Pod 1, Flores Command. You are clear to begin descent to surface. Copy. Disengaging. Initiating auxiliary thrusters. Tell me if the volume's good or not for you guys. We are 20 seconds to atmosphere breach. Initiate burn. Rotate on brick. Primary ignition set to 30%. Rotating. We are engine first. Altitude 20,000 feet and falling. Hold on, we are getting interference. Switch to high gain antenna. Command, confirm signal strength. You're looking great, Pod 1. Go for landing. Nice graphics. I don't know if this is pre-rendered or if this is the game already. Engines off. I feel like it's pre-rendered. Now this would will be the real game. My computer isn't complaining yet. Is it complaining? No, it's quiet. Almost looks like home. That's what worries me. Well, boss. You ready? Got my truck. Okay. Maybe frame rate not that great. <laughs> Things look a little bit wavy. I don't know what it is. I 
want snipers at three and six, multiple defense lines, and an operating base established within the hour. Move! Goodman, a word. You know the stakes of this mission. Flores is already half dismantled. Our engine's on its way down to power a city of half a million. Now, if these outrider bozos hit pay dirt, you report to me first. Sir, I'm only here to answer a proper procedure this fall. We're not on Earth, Shearer. There is no proper procedure. Listen up, outriders. I know what you're all thinking. There's no going home. And no one has a clue what's waiting for us out there. But the ECA pencil heads can't green like this land until we find their missing probes. So let's do our job. Why is everyone so angry? <laughs> All right. We might have to do a little bit of troubleshooting. Just to make sure everything's running, okay? You get eaten on day one. Relax, Outrider. You don't know me anything. Cap, I wouldn't be here without you. I'd be buried in the ashes back home. Exposition. Right. Let's move out. Stay sharp. Watch our sixes. Okay, so clearly we have too much <laughs> sensitivity. How? Okay, thank you. I don't understand. Valheim is probably the first game I've ever played that gets sensitivity right. Mouse, mouse accelerate. Valheim, I didn't have to touch it. Every other game, it's so overly sensitive. Now it's under sensitive. Um, controls, but I was very surprised with Valheim. There we go. That's that's around where I like that. But. Okay. So so I think the issue why I think things were looking wavy for me, I think my computer is currently using Okay, maybe not. Is my computer just good? How's it doing this? <laughs> Okay, that's not it's not a rod stream for a new game like this unless I Really? So we're running running at ultra everything and I'm getting that much FPS. But some things look bad. I don't understand why object like, some things just look weird. What if I turn... Yes. What happens now? Okay. I guess it's using a form of TAA, or Temporal Anti-Aliasing. Which, essentially, what that does is grab a bunch of frames from before and use that to make it better. So you can see here, actually, I don't know how much you guys would be able to see, but her hair, here actually. <laughs> I gotta use these as a opportunity to teach stuff. That's fun. Here. Her hair, can you see the little, f that it's like, it's shimmery at, at the ed ends? So that's just how it is, but then, if it is TAA, it should actually use multiple frames to make a better looking... Apply X. Better looking, more consistent hair. So you can see it improved a little bit. It's not that much different, but it, the hair is more consistent. You can still see that it's shimmery and dotty, but it's less than before. But it tries to use multiple frames to make it better. But okay, this game actually runs really well, and it looks very nice. Oh, all right, let me turn off all the metrics and we can go back to to um, 
to gaming here. Because we're gamers. Uh, but I'm surprised. It's, it's a brand new game and it runs really great. <laughs> new meaning to wavy. Would you smell that air? I can't even process breathing air that doesn't smell like a burnt carburetor. I didn't mind the air back on Earth. I was used to it. Okay, so excuse me. Like... You'll get used to fresh air too. Truth is, none of us should even have gotten off Earth. Survivor's guilt. You think any one of us isn't feeling it? It's not just that. If the Caraval's engine hadn't exploded back and killed most of the real outriders with it. There wouldn't be a bunch of mercenaries down here in their place. I hired you because you don't let anything get in your way. Okay, interesting button for Mantle. Yeah, it's a pretty game. Oh, I have a little geolocator. Press control to climb up. Uh, I don't know if I like control for that. Wait, why didn't we just stay in the car? The radar will help you locate quest objectives, okay. But yeah, I feel like this could be, if it is good, could be like... We'll make camp here. Outrider, set a beacon flag. Let HQ know the area's secure. Okay. It could be even like a... I don't think it will be like a mass effect or anything, but could. we'll need a capture. We'll see also how generic. Jobs to do. Cuthbert, Scarstead, set up a perimeter. I want fortifications going up within the hour. Jakob, you're field testing the munitions. Gutman, get your scanner up and running so we can find those damn probes. Outrider, a word. <laughs> yeah, it's always with a lot of these games where you don't get. It's all about holding. Hey. No matter what happens out here, I need my best gun on this in case things go south. Can I depend on you? Just tell me what to do, Cap. My weapons haven't been fired in nearly a century. Why don't you head over to Jacob and get your gear checked, and then be prepared to move out as soon as those probes are located. Any questions? No word from Earth, I assume? It's really gone? She went dark 15 years into our journey. More or less as predicted. ACA's confirmed no communication since. Oh, shit. You know, I uh, grew up a slum dog, fighting for scraps. Lost everyone, really, long before the end. Doomsday just wasn't a thing I worried about. Hell, I wasn't going to live past 20 anyway. Somehow, <laughs> I was one of the ones who made it. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. As things go right, time's coming, you're gonna have to leave all that behind. This is a new beginning. You could have a family here. Build a cabin. Grow old and get fat. Yeah, that's not me, Cap. Know my way around bullets, not kids. There's gonna be no need for someone like me here. Maybe the old you, Outrider. But you're one of the chosen few. You get to build the future. Don't waste it. <laughs> yeah, we should have a damn count. Damn count. Oh, gonna head out and find Jake. Wait, that's not my voice. Gonna head out and find J Jacob. Or, did your family make it off Earth? Did any more of your people make it off Earth, Cap? My brother. Almost, but no. They got him in cryo as we evacuated L.A. Hoping we could stop the bleeding. Ah, uh, he was too far gone. Oh shit. 
Sorry to hear that. I haven't had the time to think about it. What about Sarah? She's good, right? Yeah. My Sarah's up there. They don't wake her group for another six months, but I can wait. I'm, uh... I didn't have a chance to tell you this, and all the madness, but... <laughs> my little girl's pregnant. That's how I got her the seat. <laughs> it's a two-for-one special, huh? So that's why you've been in such a good mood since they unfroze your ass. Don't push it outright. <laughs> yes, sir, granddad, sir. So, hello, Owie. How are you? And yes, if you, if we ever play Red Dead, oh, I loved Red Dead 2. I've never played Red Dead 1, but I have no way of playing it. I want to play it. Um, we would need a plan because he always cracks his voice somehow. I don't know how the actor does it. It's so good. Mm. Oh, Dutch's <laughs> voice actor cracks his voice perfectly at all the perfect times. Anyway, these two, their captain and like he, he is her captain. One number one. This seems like mangoes, Tahiti. Oh, <laughs> okay. We're going through with Tahiti or whatever. However, he said, like diamond Dutch. <laughs> Um, I, I, we could also have a damn count for, <laughs> because the number of times Arthur says, damn it, Dutch, or anything like that. Um, I always harp, I'm gonna, I think that's just gonna become, <laughs> he's a goddamn rat. <laughs> um, but the number, the number of times I think I'm just gonna harp on writing and just the script in any game like we played what was that game triangle project triangle it was also a square enix game this game doesn't this feel like an odd time for these two people who are planning stuff and like we got to get this ready we got to move suddenly sit down and have a heart to heart chat here it's not like it's a mo it's it's not appropriate this is just exposition they they're like why did my character suddenly go like yes I didn't think I would live. He lived 20 years on Earth. I was a street rat. I was a... Where's that coming from? Where is... Anyway. <laughs> I have a problem with a lot of writing in a lot of games. Only a few games do it right. Only a few games do it well, honestly. Which is sad. I wish more attention was given to the writing and dialogue in games. The handful of games that do it right, oh, it's good, because they're doing a good job. Uh, you know what? Red Dead does a good job. Uh, from my memory, I haven't played it in a long time, but uh, I was talking about it earlier today. Mass Effect does a great job. Um, they don't overexpose on the wrong times. Sometimes there is a, a time and a place to, for you to like tell your story and stuff. This doesn't feel like it. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> I'll go find Jakob's shooting range. Good. We're on standby for those probes, so stay on alert. Also, the cutscenes seem to be like 30 frames per second. Because then, when it goes back to the game, it's pretty high FPS. Which again, surprising. Okay, J for my journal. Oh. Charles Maxwell. Outriders. Jack Tanner. Uh, oh, this seems like the bad guy. We're not an art, Shira. There's no proper procedure. <laughs> okay. Why did I open that? Talk to Jacob. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Hello. What's on your mind, boss? I know that look you get. Okay. I'm ready for target practice. The last day on Earth was a nightmare. Okay, time for story. See, now this, this is fine, I think, because you're choosing it. So it's not like they forced their story down. Like, you're choosing, oh, I want to get all the flavor text. And I think this is fine. That last day got really hairy. 
I wasn't sure if any of us were gonna make it. We cut it pretty close. You can't stop thinking about it either. I know. It's insane. It was 80 years ago. Yeah, it feels like days. My knuckles are still sore, my ears still ringing from all the gunfire. I mean, there were thousands of them, all climbing over each other, slaughtering everyone in their way, and tried to pull down the launch tower to bash in the doors of our shuttles. I've been in a lot of war zones, but that was fucking anarchy. Look, it was either us getting off the planet or them, but we just did what we had to do. We do what we have to do. We look out for each other. Hell, we better. Other than the Captain Cusford, you're the only person left alive I know. I'm the only person left alive worth knowing. <laughs> I'm glad you made it on board, you old bastard. Me too. Again, don't want to complain too much. But I feel like this whole interaction, even with the last guy, it could have worked super great if they did something that, once again, I, as I was thinking about it, they like, oh yeah, Mass Effect did it. They drop you in in an action scene. So you're right in, you're doing your first mission, you're on the field. Speaking about the first Mass Effect, I guess the second one does that too. No, nah, eh, kind of. But the first, no, it does, it does. Okay, anyway drop you in in the action and then you go to a hub or a place like the ship or this base encampment where you sit down and you get to talk to everyone starting with this can be very slow number one you, you don't even know what's going on you're like oh we just got out of the ship like we we're having it explained this could have been done in a cutscene thing and said yeah i think it could have been done it's for us to get to know them, like a quick cutscene, boom, what is, what are the relationships, what's going on, and then drop right into action. Then we come back to a base type thing, and then you can choose to talk to them. Then you can choose to, like, learn more about these characters. When you drop into a game, you don't want this out of the gate, and this is the first, owie, since you came a little bit later, this is the first chapter of the game. This is how the game starts, and it's going to... Everything you do here transfers to the real game. So the beginning of the game is this. So I just wish that they had maybe, you know, remixed a little bit the order of things for this beginning so far. Anyway, that's just just giving a few thoughts. Let's see. Uh, what do you think about Enoch? What do you make of this place, Jakob? And the audio's all over the place. Beautiful. How long you want to bet before we bury it all under concrete and plastic? Oh, come on. You can't still be that cynical. Just look at this valley. I don't know, boss. Maybe we all just got too much riding on this. We already have one dead planet in the rear view. If we screw this one up too... It... Maybe we won't. Sure. Maybe this is really it. Maybe we can finally stop sleeping with our guns under our pillows. Stop worrying about food every goddamn day. Believe me, boss. I want this to work. You have no idea. But, huh? people don't change. Still got your money on black, huh? Uh, the house always wins. And I feel like the mouth animation is actually pretty good. It, I, I don't know if it was hand animated. And... Or if it's like the automated lip sync, but if it is the automated, it's a really good job. If they hand did everything for this, I'm surprised, but if it is automated, it's actually pretty good. Because it's not great, <laughs> but, but it actually works pretty well. Uh, oh, he says probably didn't take notes on settings when recording. <laughs> probably. Time to test my gear. Uh, up for some target practice, boss. Let's get started. All right. Space to enter cover, so it's a cover shooter. Fancy stuff. Yeah, a new toy. You're the first one to test it out, boss. Okay. Feeling. Take on the tank. One. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing tanks at me. Now 
give that sidearm a try, eh? Sidearm? Okay. Hold Q. Also, this game's all about holding. It takes that extra second is kind of annoying. Haven't lost your touch. Just like riding a bike. I wish I could just press it. Okay, I can. Why did it say, oh, I, I, if I want to go to the side arm, I have to hold? Okay, now it's not even letting me switch anymore. Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Can, can I shoot without, yeah. Whoever does that, like, as a player, not in real life or anything. Like, who, who uses the shoot over without aiming? I never use this whenever in games they have the option for you to just shoot from underneath the... Yep. Still got it. Restock. Ammo crates will allow you to restock on ammo. It feels like dialogue is too soft, at least for me. I don't know. But then the music was extremely loud for me, so I had to turn that down. <laughs> All right. I really didn't think prayer worked. I owe you one. What was that? But yeah, like everyone's setting up. Why? Are we, why am I having chit chat with people? Like if this was a day later or something as well. All right, Shira. Let's see. Oh Gears of Andromeda. This is stunning. I wish you could have seen this there. Hey. You're Shira, right? I'm sorry. Can you believe this landscape? It's so beautiful. Now, if only we had an internet to post those two. It's for a scientific record. <laughs> Besides, we'll have the internet up and running in the first six months. The entire thing was backed up. I'm just pulling your leg, Shira. They backed up everything? The scan's still running. I don't know what else I can do. There's a lot of useless it. stuff on <laughs> How can the probe signals have simply vanished? Yeah, they said it was some kind of interference or something? Not from space, maybe, but not from down here. Still, seems initial readings were right. We're breathing. Yes, but before the... ECA can authorize half a million more people coming here. We need the probes data to know we can support them. And if we can't, what's the ECA's plan B? Do you have any questions I could answer, Stu? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't expect it to end there. Because that's that's like a sassy rem that's like a sassy comeback. You don't usually anyway. <laughs> I just thought that How was the funny. colonization gonna work? You're in the planning rooms, right? Yes. We've already started disassembling the engine. We need to bring that down first. The nuclear core should give us enough power to get the colony up and running. And when do the civilian pods start coming down? Within a few weeks, if all goes well. First, just enough people and resources to get our infrastructure running. You know, water, food, and shelter. Then we'll keep waking folks from cryo, a few thousand at a time, no more than we can feed. Until before you know it, you'll be standing in the middle of a city. And meanwhile, the Flora stays up there? The ship was built in orbit. It was never meant to land. We'll have to keep it in our skies until we're capable of space flight again. One day, maybe. She went back to sassy face. All right, tell me the truth. You think the ECA's thought this whole plan through? Well, my father was part of the team that designed the plan. My entire life he helped prepare for this day. The greatest undertaking of human history. Oh, so that's how you got on the ship, huh? Daddy smoothed your way? No, I studied engineering, spent years in orbit, designed structure, Drilling rivets into I don't the know if this is friendly banter or if they don't really like each other. So you earned your way on. Good for you. It was my father. 
Just not like the way you thought. He gave up his place for me. He stayed behind. Shit, I'm uh... sorry. He would have been in all of this place. But in the end, it's just me. It's strange not knowing anyone here. When this is over, come hang out with us. We're not such a bad bunch. I might take you up on that. What a weird conversation. Okay. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop harping on everything that they say. Hey. Is that supposed to blink that way? Oh, 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 oh. That's a probe. Tanner. I think we got a signal. It's close. Excellent work, Outrider. Now go locate the damn thing. So we can land I didn't cube. do anything. It was her. Copy that. <laughs> hey, it's an historic moment. We should document it. For the scientific record, huh? Why is there always a stealthy person in every game now? There is always a selfie person in every single game. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm not a selfie person. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh, I was just waiting for them to pull the log. That explains everything. I got movement. Nine o'clock, something big. Nine. Guard the perimeter. Hold your fire until we know what we're dealing with. So, just oh. a quick thing. I I got eyes on some kind of hyena-looking cow things. Yeah, I'm seeing them over here too. A whole herd of them. Are we sure all the wildlife around here are vegetarians? Herbivores? We call them herbivores? Whatever. They look pretty ugly. You ask me. No, they're they're astonishing. I bet they can be domesticated. They don't look like cows. Uh, I bet they make some fat, juicy steaks. Yeah, the game looks great. Um, it runs great. I just don't know why, why it uh, cut. It goes to 30 frames per second on on cutscenes. That's my only question. But other than that, it seems to it runs great. Uh, on one Ultra. of those cow things is sunning itself right on my path. Hey, maybe he can get close enough to get a DNA sample. Not exactly our priority, but if I can get close without spooking it, I'll try. Nah, scared it off. But I've secured the objective. Fantastic! Got some kind of storm brewing. Cap, found the probe. Looks like it landed pretty hard, but the data seems intact. Copy that. Transmitting to HQ now. Good work, Outrider. Hold on. Tanner? I'm picking up a second signal. But something's weird about this one. Weird? The pitch is rising and falling? It's supposed to be a steady tone. Outrider Alpha to HQ. Hold off on calling in that green light. We've got another probe out here to analyze. Negative, Alpha. Your job is done. Damn it. Maxwell, listen to me. We can't afford to make mistakes. Give us time. Any more time and we lose our orbital window. We have the data, I'm calling it in. You wanna keep searching? Don't blame me if you find trouble. Over and out. <sighs> All right now, riders. Rendezvous back with the convoy. Let's go find that stray. That was a another, it seems like it's just making a bunch of small mistakes. It left me just walking there, waiting for something to happen where it could have given me an instruction and then they could have talked while I was going towards where wherever they wanted me to go. Um, granted, it felt like what they had to say there was more just for character building to tell us that that guy is annoying and doesn't want us to do stuff. Hey, Cuthbert, any updates? The probe signal is mostly noise, but I've tracked its source. There. Hope you all brought your galoshes. Ooh. Jakob. Mm. Same shit, different planet. Ochevishtje. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Ooh, steak. Yeah, you were eating space cows, too. You just... If this is the first mission... <laughs> what is there? What is it just a black screen? Is this okay? Okay. <laughs> The epic music played for a black screen Electronics and people stopping in the jungle. Soldier, your primary focus is here. Understand? We keep moving. Eyes up. Ooh. See, that's cool. That's kind of cool. Choke on your own spit, dude. It's nothing. I'm good. Jesus. Get back to the ship. Alert the medics. What's going on? Stay back. Maybe we shouldn't touch the black goop. Tanner, got eyes on the probe. I got movement, heading in. <sighs> and yeah, I'm not complaining about the game because I don't like it or anything. Because I want it to be awesome. HQ. We've encountered a potential biological hazard. Requesting quarantine procedure at base. Tell Wait, hold for what? I told you both that it's not to go mess up this operation. It's my name on the line when it's landing, and you have no authority over me. Maxwell. Shit. You... Hey, boss, we lost you. I'm getting our straight probe. How's Scarstead? He looks like shit. Any idea what this black gunk is? Some kind of saprophyte or mycelium? But it's unacceptable. But like, the beginning is kind of boring. I haven't done anything yet. I just talked to a bunch of people, technically. Here we'll get our first fight, but how much time are we into this? We're almost an hour into this. Okay. And see, like, they, they taught me... They taught me how to shoot. They could have just taught me that here, too. I, I didn't really need... If they're gonna teach me... Okay, you wanna play? Then let's play. Captain, I got attacked by one of those cow things. That thing drove it crazy. I had to put it down. Keep an eye out. Copy that, Outrider. Now move your ass and find that probe. Okay, this is an actual problem. They have given me three different controls to climb things at this point. They said control. Control would let me climb things. They said space would let me climb things. And now they're telling me to use E to climb it. Is it because it's a cutscene? But <laughs> it's really confusing. <laughs> I immediately press control and then press space. I'm like, wait, it's telling me to press E. <laughs> but I guess it's because it's a cutscene, but it's... Yeah, these are all small things, but... <laughs> Tanner, I found it. Good work. Get the dice and get the hell out. Wait, hold on. This thing's just in relay mode. Tanner, the signal isn't coming from the probe. It's coming from outside our search zone, somewhere else on the planet. That's impossible. There is nobody else. Secure the hard drive. We'll analyze that signal back at base. Copy. <laughs> Damn it! Something's frying it, Tanner. Give us the frequency. Uh, carrier frequency is nine, seven, point, uh, tenor. 
Do you copy? some really strange shit down here. What the fuck? Sound effects are too loud. Please don't kill me while I'm doing this. I know it doesn't pause. Happening. Tanner. No. What that. the hell kind of storm is this? There we go. <laughs> All right. There we go. Hold off the landing. Hold off the landing. Behind you. I can't vault. Which one of the buttons do you want? <laughs> okay, that's kind of a problem. Okay, it's a toggle. It's a double tap. Also, that shaky cam, though. Mortal Kombat. Help me. <laughs> what was that? I know, right? The shaky cam's a little bit too shaky. Okay, something's actually. Ha I thought she was just screaming because her friend died. <laughs> Also, say this, too much cutscene. Yeah, the camera work is way too shaky. <laughs> What does it look like? Sergeant Major, sir, we have to follow quarantine procedure and hold the landing. Whatever the original reports about this planet, they were wrong. There's some kind of anomaly. If we land now, everyone will die. There's no holding the landing. It's too late for that. Oh. There's nowhere else to go. Oh. 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 Contaminated. We contain them. That's an order. You always were an asshole. Look around you. We got men and women in need of medical attention. Now get your asses in gear and do the right thing, or I'm gonna have to. No! Contain this. Now. Burn the fucking bodies. And that guy's just so generic, classic bad guy. No, there's no, there's no like. Oh, oh, oh! I can't go into cover. I'm pressing the cover button. I'm going after Maxwell. I got 
Okay, there's some real inconsist inconsistency with, with the control in this game. Let me use cover. I am pressing the cover button. The one you told me gave me cover. How am I supposed to, and why am I using a shotgun here? Can I just stand in the fire? I'm just gonna stand in the fire then. Whatever. <laughs> okay, this game is, this game is trying to, <laughs> to actually have real problems. If it's not gonna work, <laughs> If every time it tells me something, it's not gonna really work, then that is an actual problem. Tanner's backup rifle. What am I doing with this? What am I comparing it to? 106, 105. Sure, I'll switch it. Okay, so there you get your little lootery shootery kind of deal. And I don't like that double press on any direction makes you. Can I please cover? There you go. Now I press the same exact button and it works. Look at that. Come on. There we go. Can I press it over there? Oh, that's not acceptable cover. Why is this not acceptable cover? The game's a little bit touch and go with what is deems acceptable. Oh, this is acceptable cover. Maxwell is the only one who can call off the landing. You need to get it to do reason. Okay. Also, people are really exploding. <laughs> oh, oh! I'm just going. <laughs> so, how's my life? Oh, I still have a lot of life. So this game didn't really give me a difficulty setting, per se. So... It's pretty easy, and you don't need a lot of the cover. Hold E to observe. Don't let them near. Oh, am I gonna kill... The Why am I still observing? I don't want to observe the guy. Okay. I got a shotgun. <laughs> Do the right thing. Call it in. Postpone the fucking landing. It's too late. I'm not accurate enough for them to the FTA my singing. <laughs> can you can you help me with the wounded? We have to get them to Metla. Over here! Come on, move your asses! <laughs> what was with the end of the Okay, there's a lot of little things. It just it's there's it's not polished. That's the thing, this game, like, it's super high-budget seeming, but it's not polished in so many things, but like, like, it can be polished and not polished in some things, but like, I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm putting you back into cryo until Medlab can save your fucking life. Don't be ridiculous, I'm done for. Pep talks aren't really my thing. Like, the camera's super shaky, you can barely see what's going on. For some reason, it lowers to 30 FPS, so the shakiness when is made is even worse. When truly over? Was it when your people left Earth behind? Was it when you watched the first spaceship crash and burn? Was it when you saw your fellow Outriders crumble at your feet? Was it watching yourself die? Ooh, but edgy. Isn't done with you yet, Outrider. Like I always say, it ain't over till it's over. What a great line. You, what year are you from? 
from? Year, what year? What? Is this your pod? Where were the uplink nodes? <sighs> Come on, Doc. We need to go. They're coming. Wait, we can't just leave them here. These are outriders. They're not why we're here. I'm sorry. <sighs> To the point. Don't move, asshole! <laughs> Captain! Not another one! I'll try there. Those your kind was all dead. Dead? Uncuff me and find out! <laughs> Normal is coming. Let's see how fast you can run. The no man's land, like the others. There's so many cutscenes. Where the hell am I? Shut your goddamn mouth! <laughs> Hey, soldier, you're ECA too, right? When we get to no man's land, we gotta stick together if we want to survive. Survive what? Getting our asses fried by the big storm. Hey, I told you two to shut the hell up. We're here. Come on. Go back. Go back. What the hell's happening? They've got an altar to tear your guys apart. You need to get out of here. But where? Storm's coming. You think the altar care about a storm? Uh, shit, shit, shit. Take the back way through the fray! We're not gonna make it! Let's just talk about it here and get the cover! And Bob, the captain of the show, are you out of your gun? Watch out! Uh, okay, see? Uh, help it! Help! Oh, 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 what are you doing? Leave me alone! Oh, oh. By the way, game, this still counts as a cutscene. <laughs> No, I'm controlling the camera. How long? How long has it been? What? This, this war? How fucking long? Who knows? Since before I was born. That's fucking impossible. Come on, open the goddamn gate and move. Hold tight, almost there. Almost where? Where are you taking us? I'm not supposed to be. What the hell is the matter with you? You just wake up or something? Cryo, I just... Well, let me catch you up real quick. That paradise you Outriders promised us, guess what we've got instead? Goddamn alien storms! No shelter, no food, just kicked to the curb like exiles while your ECA pals got fat in their bunker. Bullshit! It wasn't like that. We lost electronics. We could have left you all the rot in your cryopods. But we did it. We saved you ungrateful. How many times did I tell you to shut up? <laughs> Th that's Borderlands level of over the top. <laughs> but it's serious instead of being a joke. We're still talking. That really bothers me. <laughs> I know it's a little thing. <laughs> it really bothers me. <laughs> Stop cutting people off. <sighs> wait, did the guy just drop us? Was that just an accident? What's, wait. <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, are we left for dead? Oh, fuck me. Also, by the way, from a storytelling perspective, two time jumps 
is a hard thing to pull off. Because we just introduced a bunch of characters and they're all useless. And now we're going to have to be introduced to new characters? Or are they going to bring back those characters we got to know? Time to build a new character. Okay. I am wondering that. That's what... Is this the right scene to lead to this? Or is something wrong with the game? I just watched my character die. <laughs> and I'm picking a class? <laughs> hmm. Alright. Um, uh, Long range support gadgets. Okay. I like long range. Medium range. Conjurer fire. I mean, I would make a game like that, though. Wait, with which part? Where you die, and then you pick your class after you're dead, and then it takes place. And here's the thing, I, I know what's gonna happen. Like, sadly, I've already been spoiled to what happens. So I know, but like, it still doesn't excuse a lot of the things that just happened. At least to me. Uh, close range, hit and run, space time. It seems like it would be fun. I am much more of like a long range guy, but... Ooh, maybe this could be fun. I feel like this would be shields and shotguns. And, or grenade launchers and stuff. Although this seems fun. Do tutorials and cutscenes, character dies, the... <laughs> it would be a great indie game. It, I would actually really love that game. And it would, I mean, it would be a great, it's not parody, that's another word, it's another P word. It's, um, maybe it's not a P word, but it's the one that critiques a thing, but it does it in a joking way. Not joking necessarily, but in a, it's, it's parody and maybe a secret ending, <laughs> but still. Uh, oops. Um, what is the word I'm looking for? Okay, give me one second. It's... Satire. Not with P. <laughs> Satire. That would be great satire on how a lot of games are. Um, I think Pyromancer is probably the most fun. Cover foes in flames, incinerate entire squads, heal your own wounds as enemies fall to your inferno. As a Pyromancer, you will recover health whenever enemies marked by your skills are killed. Okay, I guess I didn't know if we were gonna be able to click. click. Uh, manipulate the anomaly to animate constructs and bend. Okay, this seems kind of like the annoying class. There's always like a really straightforward class and then a really technical class to me. Many times, I don't usually go for those. Maybe I should at some point. Uh, bend them, but it seems like a lot of clicking and a lot of managing. And sometimes when I'm playing a shooter, I want to shoot. <laughs> as a technomancer, you will recover a portion of damage as you deal. You deal as health. Okay. Uh, Trickster. Bend the laws of space and time, appear out of nowhere, assassin- Yeah, it seems more- It's like the Tracer class, essentially. Uh, return to the safety in the blink of an eye. As a Trickster, uh, each enemy killed in close range heals you and grants you a portion of shield. Cool. Take point and defend your allies. Uh, ground and foes alike will- Tremble as you... Okay, it was just flavor. I was trying like ground and foes. Uh, as the Devastator, you will recover health from slain enemies that stood too close. Interesting. I think Pyromancer is the way to go. Especially if you're playing alone. Like, you would... It, to have a tank would be great if you're playing in a group. And, like, some of these are support. Great if you're playing on a group. If you're playing solo, I feel like Pyromancer is kind of the way to go. It's kind of your middle-of-the-road guy. Uh... Share 
You won't be able to change this, sure. Plus, I like red. <laughs> and it looks cool. But yeah, this game goes really edgy. And where other games have made a point to make this a comedic thing, like Borderlands. Also, difference between a cheap death and a good death. Mass Effect 2, okay. good. This feels cheap, because it literally didn't matter. <laughs> didn't do anything. Because it wasn't because we imp were impaled that we got the powers, it was because of the weird storm thing, I'm guessing. But from what I know about this game... Okay, welcome to Outriders demo. Demo will be... You will be able to experience the first of many regions from the Outriders epic journey through Enoch. Available character level 7 and world tier 5. Also be able to hold a maximum of those things. Demo has no time limit, so check our vendors. Finish all four side quests and discover all journal entries. After completing the prologue, you will be able to skip it. With So that was the prologue. What a terrible prologue. Okay, so I'm going to clean slate it. Let's judge the, judge the game from here. I'm judging the game from here now. Get out of here. Health regeneration. As a pyromancer, enemies that are hit by your abilities are set aflame and marked. Killing these enemies will restore your health. Okay. So I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna, okay, so it's one, two, three. Okay. I just gotta get across this hell hole. Whatever the fuck's happening, I don't belong on this side. But yeah, I, I just hope that at least some what? of the characters from... Oh, shit. Okay, which way are we going? At least some of the characters from what we were doing come back, because otherwise, that was just a lot of wasted time. Whoa. Did I okay. Do that? How is this happening to me? Again. I, I... Here's the Who thing. The hell are you, this was my... Guess it's shoot first, questions later! It's something I, I was passionate about growing up, and something that ended up being whatever I was studying, but... The storytelling in this is kind of weak. I just say that to say, like, I'm not just doing this off of no basis or anything. I, I don't know. It's just something I've always been passionate about, and I really like when a game does it well. Like, some people really like, oh yeah, tight mechanics and stuff. I mean, I'm nothing bad about that. I love a game with an awesome mechanic. For me, like, I really like a game with well-written dialogue, a good story. Uh, How far away? Okay, so it's just like I can't okay. pick. Running from me? All right, I could get used to this. But the whole like, oh, I'm doing these things, but I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it was like, ah, it just doesn't. It just doesn't. This doesn't work. Like if you're doing it, you're doing it. At some point, like, you could be doing it on accident, they could be making my powers every time an enemy comes close, it automatically goes off. But, so that would be a fun little thing, like, oh, oh, what's going on? And then it automatically goes off. What, ooh! Oh, it's rusty. I want to get to where all the guys are. Hi, just for grenade. Okay, I gotta get moving. Woo! Roll, rolling, rolling. Rolling. Okay, I'm gonna do the thing. Did I get them? Hey! I did get them. Hey, and he healed me. 
Oh, hello, guys. Did you just shoot a grenade at yourself? Move! <laughs> Move! <laughs> I don't know if it's my keyboard or... <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> why, are you why is it not working sometimes? Also, I have to say, the fog kind of makes it hard to see some people because, like, they blend into the background. And I know that... I'm not a game designer, but I know that that's something that they pay attention to. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Is... Why am I not in cover? That is something they pay attention to, is that the enemies don't become... Go, 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 go. I really don't like that I have... The game's kind of janky. But it, it, at least it's letting me do it like this. <laughs> um... Things blending into the background, not good. I know that much. Like, I I know that game design-wise, that's not a very good thing, if things are blending with the background. Where is the guy? Oh. This, these flares, this storm, I've seen this before. Okay, do, do I have time forest. to... What was the button? Okay, so... I don't really like the sniper right now. I am gonna... Uh, yeah, I'll have a, a shoddy. No one ever said no to a shoddy. Or all the things in case you get the game. <laughs> I know, right? That's the thing. Hey, this could be a fun game if... You're playing with people. So far, I haven't seen too many merits of not that. And again, I... I don't play any game wanting it to be bad. I want this to be good. <laughs> it just... It's this not... This can't be real. Did he just explode? Oh, hello. I got a shotgun. Interesting, interesting. Okay, okay. Feed the flames. I got a new ability. And this... And this is just a, a me thing, but I don't like usually when uh, all of my abilities are on the number, especially if I'm using them a lot. I like to have them sur in the surrounding buttons, just so I don't have to like... Because like, two is hard to press if you're moving forward. But I guess it's fine, but that's just a me thing. I know it's not an actual problem. I could smell the storm in your blood. Your stink of Enoch. Your kind are abominations. Exile. Who the hell are you? Outrider. Impossible. The animation. Such have power, <laughs> such confusion. You want answers. Whatever you were before, you're something new now. A second life. Don't waste it. Who? Who was that? Lord Zeth? He's... He's altered. And he's a little man. A little man. Altered? What the fuck does that mean? You... <laughs> you don't know what you are. Explanation time. 
Where'd you steal that uniform? I didn't. It's mine. Yeah? If he's really an outrider, then you fight's in the wrong side. Haltered. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Grand Marshal, she'll explain. Come. Oh! Alright. That was fine. Where is she? There. There. What is that? Go, go, go. She's giving me... She's giving me snake vibes. Like, from both the game and do the movies. You have to do, Lieutenant. It's like, where is it? Metal Gear? Sure? No. Who? You're alive. I'm sorry to disappoint you. You, you came from their side. You got any intel for us? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, I got a war to win, so either you help me or you get back into cryo. Hold on. I've just woken up to mud and shit. I've been asleep for God knows how many years. 31 years. So for 31 years, I've been seeing people fight and die while you were getting comfy in cryo. So excuse me for not throwing you a little welcome party. You're the one who put me there. <laughs> what happened to you? The anomaly. That's what happened. You mean that storm? We told them not to land. Anything more advanced than a grease engine that fried. All our data wiped out. We couldn't grow crops or make medicine. So we ended up in the same place as when we left Earth. Just killing each other over the little we have left. Why didn't you go somewhere else? The Outriders could have- The Outriders are dead. What? And the anomaly keeps us in this fucking valley. We can't go anywhere else. You don't get it, do you? You think you're dreaming? This is real. Believe me, it's fucking real. So whether you like it or not, you're stuck here in the mud and shit like the rest of us. You should have never woken up. What, and miss out on all this? Grand Marshal, we were too late. The hounds have him. He's been taken underground. Well, get him back. Well, it may be our side, but that's not our turf, ma'am. I'm not losing people over Yakub. Yaku? He's still alive? Not too much longer, it seems. Then I'll go find him. Ma'am? Ma'am? Never mind. I've got it covered. Hey, they're reintroducing the people. There you go. Oh, oh. Setting higher world tiers will increase the game's difficulty, but offer better loot. Choose the world. Okay, so I definitely don't want to be world tier 1. I'll be world tier 2. Because world tier 1 was pretty easy. Watch me die over and- oh, this is easy. This is story. Okay. Um, okay, so that's locked. Okay, so it's just on easy. That's why. Okay. Okay. So Jakob's in trouble and I need to go save his ass. At least some things never change. Alright. Uh-huh. Okay, so we have store- oh, okay. Um, we have... Hey, Shira. I'm geared up and tracking down Jakob. Now, who the hell are these assholes? They're thugs, drug runners, and child slavers. They call themselves the Hounds. And believe me, no one's gonna miss them if you put a few dozen in body bags. Why the hell haven't you done something about them already? Honestly? Because they're black market and keep our free. soldiers happy. Alter. And at least they're not eating their own fucking kids like the insurgents were fighting out there. Yeah, I met a few of them. Not so friendly. Okay. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Just close. Shop and money. Vendors allow you to buy and sell. Yep. Yeah. Scrap. Alright. Okay, I don't have enough. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. This should be like a minute. This is gonna be a quick one. So, I will be right back. Just give me one minute.
Wait, is there no audio? I thought it would at least be playing some audio. Sorry for the silence. All right. So I, I did, before we go anywhere, I, I did want to just say this. I may be judging this game super harshly right now on special on story stuff like that because I feel like I've barely had any gameplay. In like an hour and a half, I had probably like 10, 15 minutes of gameplay. So that is mostly what I have to judge right now. And the gameplay what you I've, see is what you get. I've just been running forward because it's very easy. And granted, they do have difficulty and it is set on easy. So that's completely fine. They're not really, it doesn't seem like they're giving me access to the higher difficulties. Um, but so that that's completely fine. But most of what I've had so far are cutscenes, and, and, and that's it. <laughs> Alright, so play together. At any time you can switch between single-player single and co-op mode for up to three players. When playing with others, difficulty is higher, but the loot is better. Uh, you can invite your friends from the lobby, the game menu, you can use matchmaking stations. In the lobby quest timeline lets you set the story to any unlocked story point, past or future. Your hero level and equipment will not change, only the story point. Interesting. That's cool. So if you're playing with someone who's going with through it the first time, you can like go back and you can set it up, so. Or you can replay your favorite mission, that kind of stuff seems. I don't know how standard that is for this kind of game, but it's welcome. It's a welcome thing. So here's the matchmaking thing. What's this? Travel. This is a fast travel, okay. We've got, it's all closed. I'm guessing this is... Okay, so this might be the whole hub, which is actually pretty big. That's cool. Um, I'm guessing this is... Stash not available during demos, so stash probably for multiple characters. Change appearance. What's this? Eat a restock. Okay. And so far, at least... I'll have to play more. I barely played actual gameplay, but I was gonna say the abilities didn't feel that great. Can you hook me up? Come on. I'm sweating here. But I'll. It ain't fair. But yeah, I'll see. Nothing to see here. Um. Also, it just really feels like the tone is super overly aggressive and dark, <laughs> which, especially with nowadays, I don't know how many people like that. So that's not like a positive or a negative, I just don't know how many people are into just this dark brooding stuff. Usually they like it with a little bit of comedy. I don't know, like, what do you guys think? Uh, but usually, as far as I've seen, especially with the games that are popular, people like a little bit of a lighter tone, more fun and game. Rather than just like a game that's like this, that is just overtly serious. I'm looking for but I don't know. Krowski. Go away. Listen, asshole. You got a gun pointed right at your- ah! 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 Oh! What the hell is going on out there? Because I feel like even games that are serious say like a Red Dead. You wouldn't call that a comedy game. Or what? Okay, so what's my ability number two? Okay. And I just missed that completely. Um, let's say a Red Dead, or even a Mass Effect. They're not. They're not comedy games, but they. They have their more light-hearted moments, and I, I don't know. At least to me, that's kind of more the tone that people tend to... Okay, so that just straight up heals me. The kind of mix of tone where you can have these serious moments, but it's it's balanced out by a little bit more light-hearted moments, too. It's not just like, Ugh, Anger and pain! Hurt me! But... I love- I'd love to hear what you guys think. <laughs> like, what are you thinking of the tone of this game? Is this now a breath of fresh air? 
is this more or is this kind of like weird it's not really your flavor or you're fine with it like an owie i know that it seems like you've seen more of this game or maybe you didn't i don't know but what are your thoughts on it so that should get them Oh, did I kill them? Yeah, there you go. I guess it's... So, so that's a, a cool, like... Okay, big guy. It, it, it kind of feels like a uh, division with these armored guys that kind of slowly lumber towards you. That's another thing, too. It feels very by the books. It, <laughs> it's not bringing anything that new to game play, necessarily. Like, I'm behind cover... And I'm shooting at people. <laughs> I guess just like Aoi mentioned, it, it's like a Gears of Andromeda. <laughs> almost too... That's almost a little bit too perfect <laughs> to what it is. Oh. How do I go up again? I forget. Okay, two heals me? Oh, so I suck. The life up of the enemy. Okay, I want a different weapon. I like the little marker that shows you how loaded you are from. The invisibility in this game sucks. <laughs> okay, open the gate. But yeah, I. Gun. I would love to know what you guys think of the tone so far. Okay. So those were supposed to be... Oh, oh here, here they go. Pulls their health to me. Okay. Go, 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 go! Now, where's Yakov? Like the little... Usually a song has a fade out. That kind of like had a fade in to the end of the battle. That opened up. I'm just gonna grab some of this loot. Ooh, look at that body armor. Ooh. A room opened up. What's this? Get that loot. Ooh, look at these rusty weapons. Ooh. 
gimme, gimme. I'm gonna explore a little bit here. Get all my guns. So yeah, I feel like this probably does tap more into the crowd that loves looter shooters. I, I tend not to be that much into them, but as far as I know, from what I understand, looter shooters tend to have good stories whenever they're not games of service. Sadly, nowadays, that's more of a rarity than than anything else, but... I feel like for looter shooters like this... Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna switch this one out. I'm gonna switch... This is a... What is this? This is a submachine gun? I don't know what these are. Okay. Oh. Oh, rare. Oh, a little booty. Give me your booty. Oh, I automatically put it on. Okay, that's cool. I'm, I'm cool with it automatically putting it on. It also has... Um, just like Mass Effect, there is the mode where you can not have a helmet. If you have a helmet. Which, always very welcome. I tend not to like helmets. When I have the option. Nice eyes. Hey! Whoa. Oh, sorry guys. I thought this was the bathroom. Can I pause? Okay? No, that skipped it. No! Did you hear the efforts Here, there? I got Jakob out in one piece. I, I don't think this is a problem with the actress or anything. Well, you should come join us. We have some catch. It's whoever edited that. Her efforts, which are like the grunts and stuff, was huh, ha, hoo, ha, hoo, and she was doing like ha, hoo, ha. It didn't feel like <laughs> there's a lot of weirdness. <laughs> Sorry, I skipped that. I, I didn't mean to have skipped that. Okay, so this will travel me back to the okay. All right, hold that. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> I'm guessing. I find some right. Won't touch it. Won't touch it this time. No, because he won't. Because he can do what the fuck he wants. Hey, never been so happy to see a familiar face. You haven't aged a day. And you got old, my friend. In the hallway, that was Seth. What was he doing here? Ignoring our pleas for help. I thought it was on your side. <laughs> Seth, he's not on anyone's side. The insurgents have altered their walking nightmares. We're lucky Seth shows up to fight them back sometimes, but only if it fits whatever the hell game he's playing. Hey, damn it. You have no idea how bad it is, Outrider. We thought we escaped the apocalypse. We thought we could start over again here. But we were wrong. I was wrong. Shira. Do you know why I'm in charge? Because I'm the only officer left alive. The insurgents at our door, they're feral, sadistic, they have us surrounded. We're low on food and bullets. And if those freaks don't kill us, this planet will! Welcome back. The black fungus in the forest. We never found a cure. The mountains are filled with abominations. And the anomaly storms get bigger every year. We don't have much time left. 
If we don't find a way out of this valley, if we don't find a miracle, this last shred of humanity is over. Shira! Well, would you look at that? I can do things now. I don't understand, but maybe there's a reason. Yes, you are. I guess I know why I saved your damn life all those years ago. I'm sure this isn't exactly what you had in mind. I'm not complaining. Still, I don't get it. The day we landed, that storm, it tore Cuthbert apart, but not me. Why? Why was I... Altered? Who the hell knows? When those storms hit, some get ripped inside out, some turn pink polka dot, and a few come back. Fucking immortal. Nothing about the anomaly makes sense. It disrupts the laws of nature. It mutates whatever it touches. Early on, the ECA's best scientists tried to understand the storms, to tame them. None survived. I guess you got lucky, boss. <laughs> or maybe not. All I care about is that you are on our side. Our only supply line is blocked by an altar that our weapons cannot touch. Out by the old solar array. Seth had no interest in helping us, but now, you're here. Hmm. Hell, why not? Maybe I can buy humanity another day. Lieutenant, what the hell was that? The whole front line just collapsed! Like an earthquake, or I, I, I think we lost our whole first line of defenses! On my way. Go, go, go! Hey, in case I don't get another chance, I, I tried to find you, but it all went to shit. We had to run for our lives. I just... Forget it. I'm alive. I should have been dead ten times over, if not for Tanner, if not for Shira. I'm the one with dues to pay now, Jakob. Boss, I missed you. It's good to have you back. Now go beat that altered ass for us. So we can get back in this goddamn fight. All right. Outrider, be careful out there. It's bad. I'll see what I can do. But sure, no. I still got about 30 years of questions to catch up on. So if you make it back in one piece. Come and ask me. Yeah. But I don't promise I'll have all the answers. Hey, I'm talking to you. Hey, I'm starving here. Seems like there's more altered all the time. So what happened? Erica. Everything alright? The best selection in Rift Town can only be found at Mr. Chang's. Come see what wonders I have for sale. Another time, mister. I'm having one shitty day. Uh, bitter wind blows for us all. Come, how about a little hot tea? Mm. Not much of an inventory. Uh, don't mind all this crap, honored one. I keep all the good stuff. Should have paid, old man! <laughs> no, Chang! You're altered. I, I didn't know. Think I care? He was about to show me the good stuff. He's just acting on orders. Whose orders? Barker! Uh, he runs the Hounds gang. He's trying to take out all the vendors in Rift Town. It won't work for him! <laughs> so this is a side quest, I'm guessing. Worst fucking day. That's how the... I, ah! Why? I want the... I'm just frustrated. 
What the hell happened? The insurgents dug underneath my troops, blew the whole goddamn front to hell. If you can't open the supply line, we're done for. I, I want it to be better. <laughs> I want it to be good. <laughs> it's not... It's generic. It lacks flavor. Like, I don't care about any of these characters. <laughs> Maybe I'm out of line. I don't know. I hope I am. I hope I am. I I was never a Gears of War player if this is kind of like how that was. I've, I've never been... I don't know. It, it, it's just not resonating with me. Maybe I, I'm just not the guy for this type of game. I... No man's land. Okay, boss. Do you see a big tower? Yeah, we yeah, see a tower. To get. The old solar tower. But it's a mess out there. Everything's upside down. Yeah, I noticed. Don't worry, I'm carving my way through it. <sighs> it just feels like paper. Like. Cookie cutter, that's what I want to say. It feels a bit too cookie cutter. Like, look at this. It, it's like the classic. It's kind of like the classic kind of just there are people behind me. Yeah, there's one guy. Yeah, these are so I know that there are guards that come up at you. <laughs> She's so nonchalant, though. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, I'm not dead yet? <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna play a little bit safer. I wonder how, how far that goes. Okay, it didn't... I'll, I'll try using... Okay, there we go. There are the cutthroats. Let's try that. Yeah, the, these guys seem to hide a lot. Get out of cover. Uh, oops, wrong button. <laughs> yeah, it seems... Like, the, the abilities are good for getting people outside of cover. Which... is useful. Because the people are pretty entrenched in their covers. Uh, without wanting to really... peek out, it seems. At least not too much. Uh, I could probably one that guy. There you go. World tier... Three. There we go. Um, this seems like playing safe is also a solution. Okay, I'm 
capture this. Okay. What are we doing on the map? Okay, so I guess this is just a map. Welcome back! So yeah, tell, tell me what happened. Is everything alright? I might also stop playing this game in a few. It's not really getting me. Uh, it might not be the game for me. It might just not be very good. <laughs> um... It's one of those that might... Oh, I had a drill. It might be better with time. Right now it just doesn't... It just doesn't... Yeah, you mentioned someone tried to scam you? Hopefully not... Like... Anything serious. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. guys. Use ability. What? Everything is fine. Just gonna go to bed. Yeah, ask around in servers. I trust everyone was telling. Oh, I'm sorry. Sucks when stuff like that happens. It's not a fun time. I hate how people do that too. Like, why? Why are you scam? Hopefully it wasn't on my server. Was it someone on my server? Oh, okay. I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad that they didn't get anything. Uh, huh. You know, I thought, I thought I was pretty good about not being scammed until, like, it's crazy when you move to a different country, like, it's weird because, like, thing, you just become kind of a noob, <laughs> again, with a lot of these things, especially, like, scam-related thing. It's funny, because... That's how I felt when I got here. And it... It, it just kind of... Like, things that would be obvious otherwise, you, you just take it with like, Oh, okay, this seems fine. When... <laughs> in fact, it's not. Um, but... I, I got scammed by like the dumbest phone scam. And... Honestly, if it weren't for... If it weren't for... <laughs> Uh-oh. For me not having the information they were asking me to give... I, I probably would have been screwed. The one from your server. I recently joined open servers like Fall Guys and Developer for for the emote, got it. Yeah, gotta be careful with those big community ones. Okay. 
Yeah. Is this game? Uh, it feels very cookie cutter, uh, which is sad. I, I was hoping. I went in after I saw it wasn't like a a, a game's a service. I kind of went in, and you might say this was my problem and my issue for coming in thinking this. I went in with. Uh, I went in with Mass Effect expectations, something that could be as good as that. Uh, sadly, not really the case. <laughs> uh, but I guess, like, it feels fine. When it comes to gameplay, it's fine, you know? There's nothing wrong with it, but it, it it's not impressive in any way. It's kind of your run-of-the-mill shooter, looter shooter game without anything too crazy about it. It's just kind of generic. Which, I guess is... Which is sad. Because I guess I, I kind of went in expect, expecting greatness. And I shouldn't have. But, it's not bad. It's just average. <laughs> and I think that that's... kind of the problem. Uh, I honestly don't have time to play average games, if that makes any sense. <laughs> like, I, I can be playing much better games <laughs> if I really wanted to, to, like, be putting time down on on any games. And this, this kind of just... I feel like a mad game. <laughs> All right, interrupts and resistances. Failing, a uh, filling casting bar shows the enemy is concentrating to use their ability. You can hit the casting enemy with your interrupt keyword skill to stop them. Uh, when you use skills that interrupt or immobilize elite enemies, those enemies build up resistance. This is indicated by the blip icon. When resistance has built up, enemy has engulfed in a blue aura. Blue aura indicates that the enemy is temporarily immune to interrupt uh, and immobilizing effects. You cannot interrupt an enemy's ability while he is in this state. The bar around the icon indicates how long this effect will last. Yeah, I think... I think I'm good at this point. I think I've seen what I have to see. It's just really... It's just, it's not the game for me. This guy's just gonna... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm clearly not playing. Oh, with any heart left. All right, I'm done with this game. <laughs> I played what I wanted to see. Not for me. <laughs> Not for me. Oh, that's that's a sneaky one. That's kind of an annoying one. Sorry, I'm sorry that happened. But yeah. So this is Outriders. Yeah, uh, kind of annoying that people would do that. <laughs> yeah, so, it's a little taste of Outriders. It just feels kind of run-of-the-mill. Even the combats, I feel like you can tell a lot by how combat is structured. And this was just like, me versus them. Um, a bunch of barriers that you... Yeah, you just block those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this game, it was very... It's sad. I think... Every game I try, I try because I want to like it. So this was the same thing for Triangle Strategy. Same thing for this. I go in expecting something new that I can love. 
and enjoy. This doesn't have that. Just felt generic cookie cutter. It. That, I'm saying that a lot because that's what it felt. To me, it did. It. It just felt like your run-of-the-mill kind of cover shooter. Because even, say, I know I'm bringing Mass Effect a lot into this, I guess I, I, I kind of brought this expectation onto myself, but even in something like that, when you are still covering, it's not just flat, 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 cover, cover, cover. Like, things were dynamic, you could, like, it was a big round or square area, so you like, people weren't just like, one side, one side, they were, like, all around, you were having to turn around, and you were having to do stuff like it, and that's not the case here, at least so far, it's just one per one group coming here, one group coming here, and that's, that's all it is. So it, it feels like game design from, like, 2008. 2007. Like, Gears 1 is much better than this. It, it, I'm also bringing that because it's also kind of like... Not to mention the bugs, yeah, no, it... I, and I think that can be ironed out. Obviously, didn't make it very fun to play, but I think that that can be ironed out. But analyzing the content, that probably won't change, sadly. Uh, there's just so much that left they left on the table and again like i mentioned the the uh the tone i feel like they they went with this really dark gritty tone with zero like there are some light like comedy moments but the comedy moments don't really hit at least they didn't hit for me i don't know about you guys but it's just so bleak and dark <laughs> And it's not fun, bleak, and dark. Like, Doom is bleak and dark, but it's fun. <laughs> um, my friend was saying the graph- Yeah, no, the graphics are great. Like, I- That was the first thing I noticed. I was like, whoa, this looks really nice. And it does. It does look fantastic. It looks great. It, it looks next-gen. In a lot of places, especially like with maybe a dozen. But like, I don't know, I like, I love the grass density, I love the colors, I love... Especially in the beginning, it was so colorful, so nice, and then it just became brown everything. Uh, but it has a lot of details, it has a lot of complexity, and it runs super well. That's another thing that can't go understated. It runs very well. It's on Ultra, I thought it was not gonna run, and it was running at like 90 to 100 frames on my computer, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> So it runs great. Uh, it, it really is the content. Like, the form looks great. The content leaves a lot to be desired. And, and that's a bummer. Because I think it, it had a lot of potential. And we'll see what the developers do with this. But it... I think my first thought still comes back. And it's that it was generic. <laughs> it, it was generic. It, this is kind of, it just feels kind of like a generic shooter game. And that's fine, some people, I'm sure hundreds, thousands of people will enjoy this. But, uh, I don't know, it's not to me, it just doesn't have... It doesn't have the flavor. It doesn't have an, a fun, a good flavor. Like, like I was mentioning before, games that have good writing and stuff, and like even good flavoring otherwise like even red dead some people didn't like red dead for for this story but the writing is good so like the dialogue the moment to moment is super fun uh it does it, it takes itself serious but it knows when to pull that back a little bit and knows when to have a little bit of levity it knows when to have a little bit more of a just comedic moment and that is any book anything you read it's rare to find a book that book or story that people really really enjoy that is just drab and dark and sadness all the time. And this is kind of what this felt to me. It just, it's overly dark, it's overly violent, and especially in this custom, like people were just killing each other and bad guy was just unreasonably, unreasonably bad at the beginning for no reason. 
Wait, why is this, what? And there were missing, and there was scenes were missing, and that's the thing. I don't even know if scenes were missing, but it, it definitely felt like that, right? Uh, it felt like there were gaps there. Like, why did the guy in the truck just let us leave? Why did we just hop off the van? Why did all of that work? Um. So yeah. <laughs> I think that, to me, there's nothing sadder than a game that has potential. <laughs> a game that could be something great, but doesn't achieve it. I hope people enjoy it. I hope people find a lot of fun things to do with this game, and I hope this game grows. And that's the thing, we've seen games that were fell short in the early days. And... The, the developers went in and patched it and changed it. Destiny, a game very much like this. I know that this isn't a game as a service, but a game like this where, you know, it's a looter shooter. Um, but it kind of sucked. The story sucked. The characters sucked. Everything was flat. They went in and they fixed it all. And people loved it. People loved the new stuff. Obviously, Destiny is kind of like hit and go, hit touch and go, whatever. Uh, expression, but you know, there's room to fix that. There's room to see, okay, people didn't like this, okay, this didn't work, and reformulate that. Maybe in this, since it's not a service, maybe it comes in the form of a sequel, and we'll see if it'll even get a chance to make a sequel if it kind of bombs or not. But it seems to be a different studio. I'm actually gonna look at the studio who made this, so... Here, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put it on, on cam mode. Uh, let me let me put some music. I'm gonna go back to Mass Effect music. Cause, ooh. My favorite Mass Effect song. Um. Yeah, there is lots of room to improve and be great, and. I think they have a lot of good there. But it's everything that we've seen before. I, I didn't see one thing in that game that I have not seen before. It gets all samey. <laughs> uh, so let me look look this up. It's Outriders. Uh, just Outriders. So let's see who is... People Can Fly Studio. Fly Games. Okay, games. People can fly. Here, let me put let me get here. And there we go. We love shooters. We love pushing boundaries. Oh, they're the guys who made it? Bullet Storm. It kind of feels like Bullet Storm a little bit. Uh they're kind of- all these games are kind of like gray. <laughs> you see what I mean? All these games are kind of like gray games. They help make all the Gears of Wars, they've helped in Fortnite. This is like one of those studios that helps a lot. The other studios kind of like push there. What did you do in Gears? You're not the main Gears studio. Oh, it just takes me to the- okay. So Warsaw, Poland. So this is kind of like their big break, it seems. Although they seem to have made Bullet Storm, and so they have pedigree. It's not just a random studio, but I don't know. A lot of these games have kind of a bit of that samey, kind of brownish, muddy feeling. Like let's pull up Bullet Storm. Well, Rated Bullet M for mature. This one they kind of like. Put a bunch of stuff into Rated it. Rated M for mature. Here, I'll, let me mute the music for a second. Serrano tried to use us. Tried to use us to murder civilians, political rivals, reporters. You're saying Serrano killed reporters? At least one I know of. A guy named Novak. Attack. I'm gonna help you. You, you 
Undo some of my mess. We help you get to the evac. You help us get off world. That's the deal. So I guess that's kind of their thing. They just make overly serious games. I don't remember Bullet Storm being like super serious, but it kind of looks like that. Here you have some cover shooter stuff. Yeah, from all this, it just looked very just serious, and... <laughs> and yeah, like, this Bulletstorm was highly acclaimed. I remember people loving, so there is room for this kind of stuff. It's just not for me. And I'll say, I never really played Bulletstorm, so I can't really sell you what it did that was, like... So awesome, but... So yeah, I don't think they're too little. I get what you're saying. That's what I thought so too, but they made Bulletstorm and they made like... Did they just make... Co-developed by... Is this co-developed? Uh, Bulletstorms are released... Uh, brought it... Okay, Bulletstorms are... Uh, is there, this IP reached unique status? Yeah, they made this. Um, Painkiller, I've never heard of this. Seems to be like an older one. Yeah, <laughs> all their games kind of have like this brownish look to them. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. And I feel like it's more expected of this era of games. And also like the PS3 era, because every game was brown in the PS3 era. Okay, yeah, this is kind of like... Let's see the this gears. Rated M for Mature. Rated M for Mature. Respectfully, sir. This is the only way. Yo, what I looking for excuse? I got a bloodline looking for the root. Here you go now, now the choice is choose. So edgy. <laughs> But I, I feel like that's just Gears, right? That's what Gears used to be. I feel like they're changing now, but I don't know how many people are enjoying the change either. It feels like with Bulletstorm, like even watching the trailer, I'm remembering that they had these big set pieces where these massive things were rolling and trying to hit you, so I feel like that was part of the appeal. And it seems like there's... I, I know that Gears has a lot of that too, so... So I don't know. I don't know. It, I don't know. That's kind of the feeling. Oh, I just realized I wasn't showing you guys any of that. <laughs> I just watched a bunch of trailers and you guys weren't seeing any of it. All right. All right. You know. Sorry about that. Conclusion, though. Everything looks kind of brown. I thought... Serrano killed reporters. At least one I know of. Like, everything, everything looks kind of vanilla, yeah. It's just kind of like middle of the road but like they had cool set pieces but everything is overly serious everything is kind of gotta get you out of here undo some of my not very colorful and like I guess by when I said that's the deal the game design kind of feels 2008 2007 it's exactly where this is coming from right their last games the last games they made were the ps3 era they didn't have anything PS4. Novak. 
and such. Know him. And it, it feels like that. It feels like it's a game from this era. Obviously much more beautiful, much more, you know, all those those bells and whistles of like making a game look super nice, but it feels like a game out of this era. Cause yeah, people love the over like see that that's cool. I gave the order to Especially back then, no one had ever seen like big set pieces like that. Um, and I know that this, they did kind of bring some levity by bringing Duke Nukem. And Duke Nukem would just make jokes at everything that happened in the story. So... I don't know. It just feels like... At least not for me. It, and it just feels kind of like old game design standards and roles kind of brought back in this generation. So here are some of the other works that they helped with. Uh, Ge Gears 1, 2, and 3, Fortnite, Unreal Tournament, Infinity Blade, and these just take it to the website. I'd love to know what they did for some of these. Oh, Infinity Blade! I was thinking Warframe. Okay, so they helped with the original Infinity Blade. So I guess they did a lot of work with, um, with Epic. These are all Epic games. Um, yeah. All right, so that's kind of my, my rant slash thoughts on people can fly. And, and again, I'm not saying this because I, I'm disparaging the developers. I'm not saying this to hate on them. Uh, that's definitely not the point of all of this on me harping on the game or anything like that. It's it's just that I was curious, why is the game like this? Why, I, I've, like I said now a couple times, like, why did it feel like it was a game from 2008 to, and I don't know, I just, it just feels like, at least their games here, it, they haven't really done anything past that, so it, It feels like when a developer makes a game that a retro game, not retro as in like 8-bit, but just an older game that isn't usually in style anymore, and they bring it back as kind of like something for fans. That's what it feels like Outriders is for the um, bullet storm kind of thing. But, I don't know, again, for me, it just doesn't hit. But that's just a for me thing. Just like with Bullet Storm and any, many of the, of the games that came out, uh, there are people that will enjoy this. Uh, one example, I guess, that I just thought of from this same era that I loved and I played on stream, and it, it's, it still has kind of like this worry, kind of very serious, but it works, at least for me. Uh, was Spec Ops The Line. And some can say that's not fair, that you're comparing it to Spec Ops. Spec Ops did something very special. Uh, but the moment-to-moment -moment writing was fine um, in that game. You know, it wasn't anything crazy, or but it worked. It worked very well. Um, so, the, you know, you, I could just sit here and make multiple comparisons, but... At the end of things, it's not for me, or if it ends up being something that, like, no one really enjoys, it's, it's just, just kind of, I don't think it's innovative, I don't, and innovation be like, not every game innovates, but they do, <laughs> that's the thing, any game that's good innovates, or, like, even sequels, many sequels aren't loved because they don't do much, this, like, different. And to bring the game I've been bringing through the whole, throughout this whole playthrough, Mass Effect, you could say that it actually innovates on everything, but you could say that some of the innovations weren't very good, especially as they moved away from RPG in its mechanics throughout the years, uh, and became more of a shooter, 
but especially when it came to story and character they were doing always something new they always surprised you so it doesn't just have to be a, a gameplay thing it can also be a story thing so sometimes a game will have very stale gameplay but will have a fantastic story example uncharted <laughs> Uncharted games are kind of like the same game every time. No one plays them for the shooting. People play it for the story. And they all kind of feel the same. But they're fun. Because the story is great. The characters are great. You're playing it for the characters and you love them. And you don't really care about the gameplay. <laughs> and the gameplay is fine, but it's the same thing every single time. Hide behind a box. Shoot a bunch of people. Swing. A they added a few things in 4, like the the whole, like, lasso or whatever. The grappling hook. Um, and you ride in a car. You know, they actually did quite a bit for 4, but, like, the trilogy is just kind of all the same. But the set pieces are new. You know, your new places. The character story is evolving and blah, blah, blah. But, yeah. All right. I'm going to stop harping on the game, harping on the studio. And I'm going to move. Honestly, today I'm just going to move straight to Valheim. Um, I'm gonna skip uh, Outer Wilds just because I, I feel like we're not gonna be able to do too much with that tonight uh, and, and I just kind of want to chill out, relax, talk to you guys a little bit more um, so we'll see but thank you for, for watching me play some, some Outriders it, it's interesting it, it's been a while since I've had these thoughts about a game <laughs> It's been a while, so it's interesting. And it has, especially how much we talked about Red Dead, it kind of makes me want to play Red Dead, because I love that game. Red Dead 2 just, it made me laugh, it made me cry, not really, but like, it made me sad. It, it made me feel so many things, and I loved it. I, I love that game. Um, and I cared about the characters. <laughs> I really did. I love the characters in that game. And I also forgot how to do Arthur Morgan's voice, which I, while I was playing that, I, I kind of had it down, or I felt like I had it down. Sometimes you think you have it down, but you don't really. <laughs> but I kind of want to be able to talk like a cowboy again, so maybe I'll do something with that. <laughs> but, alright, that's it. I'll be right back. It'll probably be a couple minutes. Take a bathroom break. Uh, Grab something to drink or to whatever. And uh, I'll be right back. So, um, hmm. Before I go, though, I, what kind of music should I put on? Again, I need to make a good... I need to make a good streaming playlist. of. That's one thing I do love about video games right now is that they don't copyright you for playing their music so video game soundtracks are ooh, you can get some good ones i love me some video game soundtracks um let's see i'm not gonna dwell too much on this you know what i'm gonna play a classic playing a classic let's see Because this game was mentioned not too long ago. Let's go with this. I will be right back. Unless the music doesn't play. <laughs> <laughs> 